Hey, yo, peace and blessings, blessings and peace. It's the boy, Joy Mel Reese in real life, not in fake life, because they just faking about their life. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you watching the videos and sharing the wealth, man. Sharing the wealth. Um, Man, just wanted to talk to you about being everything and nobody, right? <clears throat> Going through life, man, I've learned that dealing with your traumas is something that we all don't want to face. We don't want to go back and deal with anything. We want to try to move forward. But in order, in order to move forward, you have to go back. And then you have to figure out something, man. When were we ever taught to love ourselves here? Think about this. You were born for the 10 minutes or an hour when you were that little baby, you had no name. Didn't nobody know who you were. They said they were going to name you, but they didn't name you. You didn't have a name because your social security and all this stuff wasn't filled out. You know how they do it at the hospital. You had no name. That's the person who you are. And then they, the first thing that happened is your parents labeled you, gave you a name. And then they said, Jarmel is going to be this type of person. So then it starts to mold me into this type of person. Society says, you got to go to school. You got to do this, this. And then you start identifying yourself with all these different labels. All these labels. All these labels. All these labels. All these labels. And then you forget that you're nobody. Because you're still that person that didn't have those labels. So now, that's the separation between the body and the spirit. So, Jarmel is this good guy who went to school, grades was all right, you know, girls or whatever. He's this guy, he does this. Jarmel raps, he does this, he makes music, he's this, he's, he's that, Jarmel. Jarmel's not good enough. Jarmel's not that. Jarmel, Jarmel, Jarmel. All the time. The, the, the real goal is to get back to the seat of the person who's nobody. And let me tell you why. Because the person who knows that they're nobody is the person who doesn't care or doesn't have an attachment to this outside world by what the labels of what everybody else thinks about that person. I have no longer I have no more relations to Jarmel. Meaning that you can say whatever it is that you want to say about Jarmel, but it's still I'm nobody. I'm still the spirit. And I'm just observing Jarmel's life through the body. <clears throat> and that's the place that you have to get to in this life. Because once you're able to look at it from that perspective, you stop judging yourself and you stop judging others. And I can I'm I'm not saying that to you out of a place of um me of judgment, it's a place of me going through it. You have to take yourself out of the body and be able to look at the body, observe the life of the body, but know that you are the spirit. Because you're living here to eject out of the body, not to continue to live in it. You're here to be able to live in the spirit. It's a lesson here in all of it. And we have to be mindful of the lesson that we have to learn here. And most people never get to a place where they're able to even achieve the lessons that they're supposed to be doing because they're continuing to do the same things over and over again and they're repeating cycles over in their minds and they're repeating scenarios over in their minds almost to the fact where now when they're arguing with people and they're going back and forth with people they already have the scenario made up so someone says something this they're like when they say this to me then I'm going to say this back. And when they say this to me, then I'm going to say this back. And then I'm going to say this back. I'm going to say this back. I'm going to say this back. Not knowing that in reality, that's being attached to your body. 
because you believe those things are you. It no longer matters what someone has to say. And then also, knowing when enough is enough. Because the spirit should always be able to say exactly what it is that it wants to be able to say. And not change up for anybody. If you say what you say, you should never have to explain yourself. That either means that a person wasn't listening to you, or... They never wanted to understand you anyway. And also, it's okay to not understand each other. It's okay to be in disagreement, but not to have solutions. Because what happens is, is that still shows a disconnect between um, the person doesn't identify the, the person is still identifying himself as the body because the body wants to be right the body wants to be right and you always got to look at this stuff like I said man it's just this is Jarmel's body the spirit the nobody for the hour that I was in this world or the hour or 10 minutes that you were in this world that nobody signed your birth certificate and none of that stuff you were a thought, and you were a nobody. That's the person that you are, and that's the person that you should return to. And that's how you separate yourself from body, from spirit. And that's when you learn how to be able to um, live in complete peace. You learn how to say what it is that you say. And... You don't have to waver about who you are. And you don't compromise who you are. Because everything that you do is out of love. And if someone doesn't understand that, then they don't understand it. They've never had true love. So, yeah, man. Take yourself back and um, go from there, man. Love isn't a pair of jeans, bro. It's not this, man. Money is great. Money is energy. Get that money. Get the energy, put it back into yourself to get the real energy because the energy is inside of you. Energy, 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 energy. Subscribe, man. Peace, blessings, blessings, and peace. It's the boy, Jamel Reese.